Overseas now, China's president saying negative factors are hurting China's relationship with the United States. All this since meeting with President Trump less than three months ago down at Mar-a-Lago. One of those factors, a U.S. destroyer sailing within the territorial waters of an island China, as well as several other countries, claim as their own in the South China Sea. Our Pentagon team broke this story over the weekend. National Security Correspondent Jennifer Griffin joining us from the Pentagon. Hi, Jen. Hi, Leland. In fact, it was my colleague Lucas Tomlinson who broke the story at 3 a.m. Sunday morning, one day after the U.S. Navy dispatched a warship to sail off the coast of a contested island claimed by China in the South China Sea. Beijing's foreign ministry accused the United States of stirring up trouble in the region. It's the second time since President Trump took office the Pentagon dispatched a warship to conduct what it calls a freedom of navigation operation, sailing within 12 nautical miles to protest China's claims to the island. Trailed by a Chinese warship, the guided missile destroyer USS Stetham sailed off the coast of Triton Island, part of the Paracel chain also claimed by Taiwan and Vietnam in addition to China. There are signs the Trump administration is growing frustrated with Beijing's reluctance to rein in North Korea over its nuclear and ballistic missile programs following those meetings between President Trump and his Chinese counterpart at Mar-a-Lago Club in April. President Trump spoke to President Xi last night. There was no mention of the USS war, the U.S. warship in the readout provided by the White House. Last week, the Trump administration approved a $1.4 billion arms sale to Taiwan and sanctioned a Chinese bank tied to North Korea's nuclear and missile programs, angering Beijing. The State Department also dropped China to its low designation for human trafficking, accusing Beijing of failing to stop millions trapped in what amounts to modern slavery and sex trafficking, joining Iran, North Korea and Russia in those rankings. The Chinese are sending signals of their own. Last week, China launched a new type of warship, which analysts say is on par with a modern U.S. Navy guided missile destroyer. China currently has roughly the same number of cruisers, destroyers and submarines as the U.S. Navy. One of the reasons the Navy, with support on Capitol Hill, wants to build more ships. Tr President Trump will meet Leland face to face with Chinese counterpart, his Chinese counterpart in Germany later this week at the G20 summit. Expect a cooler meeting this time around compared to the last time they met at Mar-a-Lago. Leland, we'll be watching Jen Griffin at the Pentagon. Jen, thank you.